morning, everyone. You might know that we're making some changes this year for Thanksgiving, and I just thought that a representation might help. So in the past, this is the bag that we would have provided for every family, regardless of family size. But this year, we're moving into giving our clients more dignity than ever, and realizing that Thanksgiving is a feast of comfort, and comfort means different things to different people. So this is a representation of what a family of one to two might receive that doesn't celebrate a Thanksgiving, a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. This is a more traditional Thanksgiving dinner, but shows you that there are other elements that they may would prefer to have for their dinner to make it that feast. So we're asking everyone, instead of providing these bags this year, to help us by providing funds so that we can provide a true comfort feast for all of our clients. Hi, I'm Carolyn Adams. I am the coordinator for Duck United Methodist Church and the Beach Food Pantry. The people have asked me what brought me to this ministry, and I'll tell you that I think that there are two very painful afflictions in the world, the physical hunger and then the spiritual hunger. And serving with the Beach Food Pantry allows us to be able to alleviate both of those symptoms. I also would be remiss if I didn't share two very important people that were very influential with me in my life and being able to serve the Beach Food Pantry. One is my mother, who many, many years ago was the coordinator for the Beach Food Pantry. Once my mother became too ill to continue in that role, she reached out to one of her best friends, Mork Nocher. And Mork was the Beach Food Pantry coordinator for over 20 years. And so I know that I follow some very big footsteps in being able to do this. I think the other thing to remember is how much the Beach Food Pantry has grown and changed over the years. And Elizabeth really brings to us a new and more compassionate way to serve people. And so rather than doing the bags as we have traditionally done, which typically cost us around $35, we are asking for the monetary donations so that we can provide better choice and more compassionate ways to serve people.